What's going on guys? Chrome OS version 124 is officially now live. So of course, I grabbed my Asus Chromebook Plus CX34, still on loan from Google actually. Maybe they'll forget to ever ask for it back and I will just keep it forever. I've got it installed. We're gonna take a look at some of the new features in version 124. Let's take a look at the screen of my Chromebook now and we'll jump into a few things. So the first thing that I noticed after I ran this update was I jumped into my settings to check and see if the update had indeed been run. And I said immediately, wow, this settings menu looks completely different and it looks strikingly similar now to Android, which I really like. I love the idea that we are basically getting this sort of UI cross-pollination going on. If I grab my handy Pixel 8 Pro and this will focus, you can see what I'm talking about here. This looks pretty much identical to what we have here now with Chrome OS, which I think is pretty darn smart. Again, having the UI match makes a lot of sense. This looks like a Pixel laptop now. That's pretty cool. It's also just gonna be easier for new users to jump in and get used to. You're just kind of kind of like feel familiar even if you've not used a Chromebook in the past. If we jump into a Chrome window in the top right, you can see a few things that I believe are new as well. These little shortcuts to various things like your bookmarks, your reading list history, and then reading mode. If you don't like any of these, you can right click them and unpin them. Same thing goes for extensions over here. It's a very similar process to that. So you can unpin these if you don't need them. Like reading list really isn't gonna do me a whole heck of a lot of good. So we're gonna get rid of that. So there's also a pretty big improvement to split window multitasking. And this is something that I talked about a long time ago, but it is finally live. If I grab, actually let's start here at another spot. If I hover over this little icon here, you can see several different options pop up for me to split screen or split window these applications. And if I pick one of them, not only is this Chrome browser going to snap over to the side, as you can see now, it is giving me the option to quickly choose, let's dismiss this, to quickly choose the other opened window Boom, I'm right there in multitasking. Now the change with this is that before when you would do this, it would snap this window over here, but it would do nothing else. This window would remain exactly where it was. So basically you would have to snap this to the side and then come over, grab this window and snap it to the side. This was a manual process. So this is a pretty big improvement. Even if I can't seem to <laughs> dismiss this, it seems like a big improvement. Windows and desks settings. We can quickly click on that and get right into this settings area here as well. Show window suggestions when starting split screens. That's exactly what we are referring to there. Now, one more thing I can quickly show you. If I have a notification here, you can hover your mouse over that notification and do a two finger swipe to the side to dismiss it just like that. I think that's pretty nice. It kind of replicates the touch screen experience of swiping it away without actually needing a touch screen. Now something else that hasn't been sort of enabled by default is something called lacrosse browser. It's lacrosse, L-A-C-R-O-S. And basically what this is, is Google's attempt to separate the Chrome browser from the Chrome OS operating system. So currently when they want to update the browser, they actually have to update Chrome OS because they are interlinked with one another. If they're separated, that's not the case anymore. And they've been testing this and there was some thought that maybe it would roll out to the stable channel with 124. That has not happened, but you can type something into your address bar. I'll put it in the description down below and enable it. Here I am in my flags. I've searched for lacrosse only. And what you can do is change that to enabled. It's going to ask you to restart your device. And when you come back, I'll show you what that looks like very quickly. It's going to be very, very similar. But again, Chrome and your uh, Chrome OS are now separated. So you can't really tell a whole lot has changed, except if you look to that top right again, where those things were pinned, those things are now gone for me. So in terms of like just normal usability, again, you're not gonna notice a whole lot. 
but it's there if you do want to kind of mess around with it. So guys, that's pretty much the big changes in Chrome OS 124. Nothing sort of earth shattering, just a lot of small improvements here and there. Nonetheless, I thought I'd bring it to your attention. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.